Hey guys, as we get started with this video, I just want to let you know that it was filmed over a period of days and includes footage from my standard live streams, which I typically hold on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time US. And because it includes some of the footage from my live stream, some of the quality may be a little lower than I normally post. And for that, I do apologize. I had to basically record it on YouTube using my recording software. So once again, I do apologize if the quality of the video is a little poor, but it's still an awesome hunt and I definitely wanna share it with as many people as possible. And also for the length of time it covers, I've decided to split this video into two parts. So without further ado, please enjoy the video. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Fox Hunter here, and I am on Rancho Del Arroyo today. Now, this is one of those maps I haven't given a lot of love. I have been on here a few times, both on my personal map as well as multi-server hopping, but not very often. And I've learned a few things about this map that kind of excite me, the least of which is not the existence of a blue rain neck pheasant. Now I understand this to be the melanistic form of the pheasant, but I had no idea. It was a thing. I had no idea it was a thing until I watched one of my favorite YouTubers go after one himself. And so I thought I might try my luck. You know, I would really love to find one. They're absolutely stunning. And I would love to have one for my lodge. Well, we just got a call from a male rain neck pheasant. We're just going to run in its general direction, hopefully flush it, and hopefully be able to take it out of the air. So they are fast, and as we all know, birds are sort of the bane of my existence. So I've already kind of excited a crowd of females and gotten them to flush, but of course I am looking for the male who's going to... Oh, speaking of which, come on, take off, take off, take off. But, I mean... Okay, or just stand there. Hello? Hi? I mean, you were running for a moment. Can I look at you at least? Okay, here, okay. Well, we got him on that second one, definitely. So I'm not gonna take any more shots, just in the off chance that we did hit him before. So we finally caught up with him and he was a little ways off course. You can kind of see how um, this this cone of certainty actually went off in this direction, which is what was confusing me, but he did kind of double back. But here he is and he was a silver. We did hit him the one time with one hit. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm not even good with a shotgun, but hey, we got full score and he's a lovely silver and a brown and nice. So. That'll give us some, some practice, so to speak. So yeah, I'm just gonna go around, see what I can find, find need zones, shoot what I encounter. You know, maybe we'll get lucky. I would, I would love to get one of the blue ring neck pheasants for myself. That would be a great addition to my lodge. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Plus, you know, I don't have a diamond Mexican bobcat or a antelope jackrabbit. Some of those things I fe featured on my lodge tour. So again, this map just hasn't gotten a lot of love out of me. So here we are. I thought I would give it a give it a try and see what happens. So I stumbled on a pack of coyotes. And there's a level seven in there. And I have my docent on me. They are pretty far away though. They are on the trot, so it would would be a hell of a shot. Here we go. Ah, looks good to me. Let's go get him. All right, here's that initial hit, and it does indeed look good. I guess it wasn't as far of a shot. It sure looked far, though. We'll be able to open up a new outpost I don't have yet. All right, here's our little friend. That down a little bit. Nice, pretty gold at 52.07. 56 makes diamond, and I don't have a diamond of the species. And look at how that shot fell. We got the lung, liver, and stomach. Not bad, not bad. 
Alright, we're on the trail. We just need to get one of these fellas or ladies to flush. Ha 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 ha. Oh my. Where are you going? Oh, that was an excellent shot. That was an excellent shot. I am glad for that. This is not my strong suit. I think those both were females. Nice white brown silver. Seven hits. I did, in between my hunts, do some research. And it appears that the 20 gauge is not necessarily ideal for this. That we need something with a better grouping. So I think I'm going to change to the 12 gauge. Here in just a little bit. What do we have down there? Crap, it looks like. It's taken off. Ooh. Oh ho ho. Okay then. That could be diamond potential. And I don't have a diamond of this species yet. Alright, it appears that I'm actually customizing one of my weapons. Kinda like that. Alright, well there we go. Fun. Uh... You have to blink in, blink out? Oh. It just doesn't show it on this icon here. Cool. Now for store, I need to... Items, buckshot, I need birdshot. I think that's good for now, and we'll get everything loaded up and go after that rabbit. Alright, so I went ahead and reset the time to just before when I saw those antelope jackrabbits coming up through this culvert here. And I'm taking advantage of a pre-existing hunting structure to see if I can get them on their way to their next need zone. Now, the resting zone is down in here, back in, um, the resting need zone is down over in here. So when I saw them, they were coming up through this little culvert up into this mountainous region, probably looking for a feed zone or something. And I'm hoping they'll do that again. But we're just gonna park it here. We'll also be on the lookout for pheasants and this open field which is one of their big need zones and hopefully by setting up here we'll have an opportunity to hunt a variety of animals ah look at that come on give me a sight gotta be them gotta be them and of course there's a modeled one in the group so I gotta be on the lookout for that too why aren't they illuminating for me I want to pull out the right gun just in case I decide to take a shot. A right, female. Male. That's the boy we're after. Like they're setting up shop down there. Ah, feed zone right down there. Okay. Hopefully he moves into a good position. Which one's the modeled one? I'll try and pop him off as much as possible. wait and see if he gets any closer. <laughs> of course he sets up right behind that shrub. Of course he does. Not worth the risk. Trying to shoot through it. I guess I could try and switch windows. But no, that's not gonna work. Aw, buddy. I guess I could try the 22 and see if I can get him to just mill about a little bit. 
I need him from out behind there. Let's see. Hello. There we go. All right, just settle down, friend. There we go, got him. And we can see if we can get her, maybe. Not sure which one's the model one. I think it might be that one, actually. But yeah, that might have been quick and simple. Let's go take a look. Maybe it's my first diamond antelope jackrabbit. Wouldn't that be sweet? All right, let's go pick up the, the distant one first. And then we'll come back for him and make it all suspenseful. Oh, this is the modeled girl. Sure doesn't look like it. She is just gray and she'll be a bronze at 2.70. 241 yards with the uh, Classica shutter in the backside. She is kind of pretty, but not the one we were after, unfortunately. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, I bet that female that I saw running off was the, uh, the other target. So, here is our boy. He's probably going to be a brown or a gray. But without further ado, yes, my first diamond antelope jackrabbit. I have been wanting one of these since I did my lodge tour just recently because I do have one on display that's basically a placeholder. But um, I'm after that, I kind of got antelope jackrabbit fever and wanted a diamond. So here we go. My first diamond antelope jackrabbit. Let's go. Let's go, friend. Now let's take a look at his score. Uh, he is a 6.36, so not too much bigger than base level diamond. So he's not a huge diamond, but he is a diamond nonetheless. We took him in the left radius ulna at three or 213 yards. Awesome. Make sure we taxi him because I'm really good at skipping that part. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, they're known to have diamond potential. All right, we got him with the 12 gauge. Probably the first turkey I've taken with the 12 gauge or the first bird of any stripe. I'm definitely curious about the patterning. Hopefully it's a diamond. I mean, sometimes they make it. It's just a gold, that's fine. Oh yeah, wow, look at the gathering on that. That is really good. We even got a long shot. 436, 0.3 some odd shy of making it but yeah yeah that was very nice very nice i like that a lot come on sound off again oh awesome white brown silver 13.61 not quite a Wiggy. Wow. Yep, definitely glad I changed my gun. <laughs> Just gotta remember that reloading thing. Oh, there you are. Right in front of me. Oh no, through the tree. I don't know if that worked at all. Probably not. Ah, uh, if that tree hadn't have been there. I'll look and see. Real quick. Does he seem to have come down fast? I highly doubt that's because of me. Unless um, I got him? I mean, there's hunting pressure here now. Oh, I guess I did get him. Oh, I did. Well, isn't that neat? Got him good. Here he is. A gold. Okay, so we did hit him both times. Just once. Just once. But hey, I will take it. Very nice. Very nice bird. <laughs> awesome we are getting the hang of it and now it's becoming even more enjoyable so let's go find some more 
Up you go. <laughs> A nice gold, okay. Pretty color. I really am grateful that I looked up a um, guide on this so that I could get the information about the 12 gauge. That has changed my hunt so dramatically. It's so much easier to take these birds down now. <laughs> well, that was a good one. Brown a nice gold again. Five hits. 20.29 makes diamond. Oh, I'm hoping. I am hoping. It would be nice to get a bird diamond. Been kind of a hard one thing with the um, Canada goose. Still haven't found any evidence of a diamond of that yet. So, it would be nice to get a bird diamond. Just for the sake of having one, I suppose. Alright, off to find more. Oh my goodness, guys. <gasps> She's an albino! Now I can complete my... Unless she's... she No, she's an albino. She's got to be an albino. And now I can pair her up in my specialties room if I can get her. No way. I'm pretty sure she was albino. I know she looked a little mottled in the shade of those trees. I don't know if they're going to come back, though. It looked like they were fleeing. Probably from me. But I did jump up a bobcat down in there. There's our bobcat. Oh, level 7 on you, too. And yeah. Huh. Oh man, we've got a lot going on. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't scare that herd too far off. They were coming back. Well, I'm just going to have to climb that hill and find her before the sun sets. But let's go see what I did on that cat. There it is. Good vital blood, too. Oh, it's hand pretty gold. 25.87. 27 makes diamond. Oh. Okay. Well, we saved it on that liver. So, still a good shot. You know, he, he was on the trot, so I give myself some grace for that. She is. <gasps> I knew there was an albino in there. Not a bad looking buck either. get close enough to take a really good picture. Maybe use that for my live stream tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe Hunter for my live stream? 